Austin Blythe signed for the Chiefs. I don't get why they keep signing centers and guards. I feel like they're good on the interior. I don't get why they aren't signing any tackles. Like, are they going to go with a five guard? Are they just going to start five guards on the old line and see what happens? The Colton Miller extension. I found it interesting that they paid him a year early, but he he definitely played like a tackle worthy of a contract extension last year. He seems to have reached his upside, so I'm fine with it. Pay your stars. It seemed like, you know, it was like 18 mil per year. If he repeated the year he had, his market might have even been... higher so could be a good idea to get ahead of the curve there okay we are on defense I accidentally hit watch play that is a great question Trayton what is the Raiders gonna do with the rest of their line well, they re-signed a couple of their guys. Oh, we're stuck in watch mode because they're going hurry up. That's unfortunate. We're probably going to have to sit here and watch them drive all the way down and score a touchdown. I don't know if I can get out of this. I could potentially call a timeout. They signed, uh, what's his name, James to be the center. What, did they bring back Denzel Good to play right tackle? Maybe Sam Young. Brett compared Tevin Jenkins to Brian Bulaga. Yeah, I don't know about that one, Brett. Bulaga is more of a technician. He's never been a good run blocker, so I don't. The Packers literally let him go because he he wasn't a good run blocker for their system. So I I don't know about that one. Athletically speaking, I guess I could see it, but as a player, like his play style, I don't, I don't get that a lot. All right, defense gives up a touchdown right away. That's pretty much what I was expecting was to get steamrolled, but let's see what we can do on offense. We got to focus, execute. The Clemson defense isn't that good. I don't know how the roster is on this, but ooh, okay. Okay, Talia. When did uh when did his his Tevin Jenkins video drop? I don't think I No, I have not watched it yet. Because I watched his Oh jeez, Jake Funk. I like you breaking tackles, but you're going the wrong way. Drop today. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Oh my god, John LaDuca, you really want that 49ers rebuild. My goodness. <laughs> what is that, like 60 gifted subs? You're incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. We gotta... We gotta do something special for John LaDuca. I'm sending it. Go get it, Jarrett. Oh, he had it in his hands. All right, well, this is off to about what I expected. Hey, defense got to stop at least. All right, if we can pull off this drive, we have a chance. Ooh, a John LaDuca emote. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I like that. Oh, come on, Jake Funk. Do something with your life. Much better. Man, I turned 
turned those notifications off like two minutes ago, and then I just turned it back on, and they're still coming in. Alright, we need, we need a first down here. <laughs> Panda, I just did a Texans two-round mock. Ellipses. Did you like it? <laughs> Basically. Oh, go get it, Jones. Oh, come on. God, Clemson is just impossible. That was a good feed from Tua, or from Talia. But we couldn't snag it. Oh, man, this is, this is rough. Defense gives up. Let's see if we have any better luck simulating. Okay, we got a field goal. We just, we can't stop them. Get us a stop. There we go. Okay, let's. We got three more moments to play. We gotta, we gotta step it up. We're out yardage by about four times over. Have I watched Frank Darby from ASU? I have. I'm not. Uh, I think he's like wide receiver 55 or something. Nothing was open, man. Absolutely nothing. The spacing on those curl flats was terrible. Do you notice that? On both sides, the spacing on the curl flats was absolutely terrible. Neither was open. Get away from him. Oh my gosh. This is pretty much what I expected, probably worse. GG's, I mean. We're down 31 at half. This is Brutskis. Absolutely Brutskis. We got a couple drives to at least try and make this. Competitive. What's up, Mr. KD? I am doing just fine today. How are you? Oh, almost a good throw. Yeah, we need a we need a Tom Brady miracle right now. We're gonna come come back from this. Oh, that was a good throw. Rakeem Jarrett took forever to run that corner route. I knew it was it was setting up, but that was dangerous feed. This pass rush is just. Doing some tape study. Who are we watching tonight? Go make a play, Rakeem Jarrett. Oh, worth a shot. That would be that would be an, a fun experiment, Landon. That'd be tough to do. I'd have to like backtrack all my mocks, but that'd be that could be a fun concept. Like clarify that this is not a predictive mock. This is not a what I would do mock. This is a let's have some fun mock and talk about something else that I haven't talked about for that team. 
and try to justify every pick. Go make a play. Big tight end. Oh, almost. I kind of like that concept. I don't know if I'll have time to do it or not. Every single day of my of my April. I haven't I haven't told TFGF this yet, but every single day on my calendar other than the weekends is currently all booked up with content. Either content or film study. <laughs> April is by far my most busy month. And yes, Daniel, that was a dot by Talia. This is a nice drive. Almost. Almost had it. Geez, just lucky to get rid of that. Let's go, Talia, what a drive. Appreciate that, Daniel, appreciate it. What a drive by Talia, made some freaking throws. Let's see if we get a stop. All right, we gotta stop. We can go make this, this is our last opportunity. We can make this a respectable game at least. Maybe a miracle in simulation, we get the win. Appreciate all the help you send our way already, college football guy. I had a feeling I should have ended on that last drive. But we had to take some chances. Alright. We fought valiantly, guys, but Clemson was too much. No surprise. Have I looked at anyone from Iowa yet? I actually did a pretty big deep dive into the Iowa Iowa dudes today. I think I actually evaluated like five or six Iowa guys today. All my evals are up on Patreon Trayton if you want to check them out. I've got probably 10 or 12 Iowa guys done up on there. Nick Neiman, Sean Bayer, the D tackles, the receivers. We held them under 60. That's a moral victory. I agree, Daniel. I agree. I'm just happy Talia showed some moments there. Amir Smith-Marset has a route tree of three. Yeah, I'm not fully in on the uh, Amir Smith-Marset hype. Especially in this receiver class. He's fine, but in this class, he's probably 6th, 7th round pick. Where's Baron Browning on my big board? He's not super high on the big board, but I do like him. I think he's like a you know early day three prospect. He's an interesting hybrid linebacker. He's really athletic. Yeah, I agree in the as a Belichick outside linebacker is kind of how I project him as well. Similar to like Jamie Collins coming out. So that is all of our playage. We have really just some simulating to do. So let the comments come through, guys. You know these simulations take a while, so it's a good time to get some questions in while we skip ahead and see how the rest of our season goes. Really not anything to do with the recruiting. 
I think we got most of our guys are scheduled. Um, can max these guys out, I guess, but pretty dang straightforward at this point. Brian O'Connor's visiting in a couple weeks, so we want to hopefully get him, but just keeping our fingers crossed at this point. We got the bye week this week. We got to win one of these four games to make a bowl. Syracuse, Virginia Tech, Boston College, NC State. I think we can do it. I don't think that's too much to ask for our Terps. John LaDuca again. The GOAT. John LaGota. Okay, Syracuse is 2-6. and six. I think we can I think we can secure our bowl bowl game here. Rousseau is the one guy you don't want for your Titans. I don't think you have to worry about that. I mean, I could see them maybe wanting him for three four defensive end, but I don't think you have to worry about that. All right, recruiting, pretty straightforward. Someone was pointing out that the NCAA 13 was, uh, the recruiting was definitely better in NCAA 13. I I definitely agree that they, that was the one thing they screwed up with this game. The gameplay took a big step forward, so it's tough to go with 13 over 14, but. Let's get this W. Oh, 21-24. Damn. Come on. We got to get one win here. All right. We get a upgrade. I think I'm going to lock down the 100% scouting for next year. That'll be nice to have. Let's upgrade the, the cannon. Does Kellen Mond get drafted in the first five rounds? Yeah, I think so. I think he probably goes third or fourth. Is Zach Pascal the best blocking receiver in the NFL? He's definitely up there. He's definitely top three or so. Okay, Virginia Tech is six and four. I mean, we might as well put some points down on this guy considering we have the points to afford. No more guys ready for visit, so it's on to week 13 for us. Come on, give us a win, Maryland. Oh my gosh. Brutal. Are you serious? We lost by four last week. We lose by one. What did we miss a PAT? Ah. Oh. Okay, there's literally nothing to do for recruiting. How much did Jamie New Newman hurt his stock by opting out? I think a lot. I think he hurt his stock by multiple rounds. Okay, come on. We need a win either this week or next week. Please. Please. Yes. Woo, 44-24. Woo, we made a bowl, chat. We made a bowl. That's worth a sound bite. Playoffs? <laughs> Slow down, Jim Mora. I don't think we're making the playoffs, but maybe... I'm rich. We're about to be pulled. I'm rich. We're about to be pulled. I'm rich. You're free agent. I'm rich. Five letters here, just for everybody out there in Packerland and yourself today. R-E-L-A-X. <laughs>
X. Relax. We're going to be gonna okay. We're going to be okay. That's what the Maryland coach says. We're going to be okay. I'm happy with a 6-6 six and six season. We were by far the worst overall team in the ACC. We were 79 overall, which is as bad as, like, our Buffalo team was an 82 overall. So to get 6-6 six and six in the ACC, that's a big W for us. That Virginia win was huge just for recruiting and for making a bowl. Yes, Panda, I got to switch to the Big Ten. We're going to be doing that here very soon. Three more. Unreal. King LaDuca, that's right. Okay, we lost Trent Jolly. We lost Willie Thomas. Are we going to get Brian O'Connor? He's going to be our big focus. He just visited Virginia Tech and did not commit. So here's hoping we can get him in the offseason. It's looking pretty good for Greg Wesley, who we added. We're number two. How would James Hudson be at guard? I probably like James Hudson better at tackle. He's, he's a little light. I don't think he's got the, the umph to play guard. If he did, it'd be in, in a move blocking system. All right, final game of the season. We'll take a look at the stats afterwards. A hey, twenty-four to twenty. We finished seven and five. We confirm or we we guarantee that we don't go under five hundred. Seven and five is a really good season. I'm very happy with that. Um. Vic, I thought I did, but I guess after the stream I can I can take another look. I'll be done here in about 20 minutes. Maybe I maybe I never posted the roster. That's my bad, man. Or maybe I tried to upload it and the uh, freaking you know EA Sports didn't didn't. Thanks, like EA. I think I, I I don't think I ever uploaded it to be honest. That's right, John Laduca, you do make it worth it. My supporters make my roster work possible. I'll I'll just leave it at that. If it wasn't for guys like John Laduca, people that donate on PayPal, page, uh, Venmo, the obviously the the Patreon supporters. That's that's what's really driving the the roster work at this point. Nice college football guy, good luck. You're going to kill it. So, I'm not going to play our bowl game just so we can get on with this. Get on to the next season. We had our success, but I'm very happy with how our season played out. Win or lose the bowl. So nothing to do this week. This advance shouldn't take too long. Vic, you don't turn 18 till your sophomore year of college. Are you like super smart or something? AK Rogers, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. You're like the opposite of Jalen Waddle, basically. Less fast, but way younger.
So if you declared, if you declared after your junior season, you'd be like, like Tremaine Edmonds when he came out, where he was like five years old entering the NFL. Oh, we play Minnesota in the in our pinstripe bowl. So so painful not to be able to play this, but hopefully we can win. to play this I can't I can't I gotta I gotta get this thing moving Minnesota six and six we'll get opportunities to play Minnesota we're, we're moving to the Big Ten next year I'm holding out hope that we can win I do want to take a look at our stats on the season before we do this just to recap Talia with a great year 25 touchdowns geez the backup quarterback no touchdowns five picks that is rough Jake Funk with a thousand yard season. Pretty spread out load there with the receivers. Not a lot of pass rush production production. Nick Cross, this safety is bad news for the Big Ten next year. He's an 87 overall sophomore. He's got freaky athletic stats. He is going to be one of our best players next year. He is insane. Whew. That'll be fun to have him next year. All right. Can we beat Minnesota? Fingers crossed. Hopefully I'm not doing like gang signs right now. No. 30 to 42. Tanner Morgan and Rashad Bateman, too much for us to handle. When I played when I played in high school, was I more of a finesse blocker, balanced, or a big mauler? I would say I was a big mauler type. I was better when I kicked into center. Do I convert speed to power? I did I did get a half a sack on the one defensive snap I played in my college my my I keep saying college. I wish I played in college. But my high school career, last play of my, my career, they put me in at nose tackle. And I got a half a sack. My my pressure rate is literally 100%. So that's probably my, my claim to fame. My coaches were like, dang, we should have had you at nose tackle the whole time. <laughs> okay, a 7-6 and six season. I will take it, chat. We've just got a little bit more simming to do. I'm 6'3", I'm not 6'6". Six, six. All right, coaching carousel, we got nothing to worry about. Hopefully we don't have anyone transferring away. So I think the conference change stage is after position changes. I'm going to pull up the uh, the Big Ten standings so I can get that right. Are there any big team, need, uh, team changes that I need to put in? What is it, the legends and leaders? I got it. Oh no. Oh no. Our quarterback wants to go to LSU. Dude, I don't want to lose lose a corner. Honestly, our receivers, I get this. He'll probably get some better playing time at Temple, but don't we Don't we need our corners? Where I don't think I can get view my roster at this stage which is unfortunate the transfers are are really tough to get back I can't uh, I can't make any promises without getting a look at my depth chart so John LaDuca ain't done damn those are some tough losses we're gonna need to recruit quarterbacks 
with losing that dude, he's going to go on to LSU and probably have a nice have a nice career there. The next Joe Burrow transferring from a powerhouse Big Ten program like Maryland. Are we going to get anyone in? Nope. Those are some tough losses. Okay, recruiting. So did anyone come into the ACC when Maryland left that I need to put in to the ACC? Didn't like UConn join or something like that? I wonder if we can get the head coach upgrade for more offseason points. Let's see. I don't think I can, but it's possible. We're going to have some tough decisions to make with the recruiting here. Nah, Notre Dame was a one year was a one year thing. They're gonna go back to being independent. Yeah, I can't get any of this stuff, so I guess I'll just maximize our points that we're gonna have for next year. And then let's do Let's boost our zone coverage and our throw power again. So this five star is being stubborn. We basically need to max out on him. And I don't really care about anyone else here other than Greg Wesley, but I just don't think we're gonna get him. Maybe I could go just enough in case Virginia Tech didn't put any points on him. That would be enough. So I think we're just going to go that route and roll with it. Let's see what happens. This guy's going to be John LaDuca if we get him. Maryland's been able to wheel in a five-star every year or so. So it would be par for the course with that. And I think he's more of a corner, so that would that would definitely make up for the the freshman corner that transferred away from us. That's a good idea, college football guy. John, would you rather be would you rather be our offensive coordinator or would you rather be our five star commit? I'll give you your choice. Louisville replaced Maryland in the ACC. Good to know. All right, we got Brian O'Connor, or just Brian Connor. We did not get Greg Wesley, but that's okay. Ooh, John LaDuca was a corner in high school. So we ended up with probably a half-decent class, probably like 40s or 50s. Hey, 32nd class, not too shabby, chat. Not too shabby at all. 7-6 and six season with the 32nd class. It's a great start. So the custom conferences is just up ahead. Position changes. So we, do, we did get a couple quarterbacks to at least fill out the depth chart, but that's something we're going to want to recruit either this year or next year, unless any of these athletes can play it. We lose Jake Funk. We actually only have two running backs on the roster, so could either think about maybe moving a receiver into running back or see if an athlete can play there. 
We didn't get a ton of offensive linemen, but that's okay. We had a whole class of freshmen ready there. A couple decent freshman defensive ends that we brought in. That was a point of emphasis. Reloaded that tackle class, which was a huge need for us. Be good to develop those guys. These linebackers are looking good. I want to switch Campbell over to outside linebacker where he started last year. He's actually a preseason All-American. Same with Ruben Hippolyte. I want to move him to outside. He's going to get the start next year. He's, he's an intriguing player. Super athletic. Really excited for him. This linebacking room is going to be pretty good this year. Okay, corner. Yeah, it's unfortunate we lost that freshman because he was going to get some good playing time next year. Thanks for the follow, P. Price. Now, Nick Cross is a total stud. I'm going to move him to free safety. And we're going to start Osita Smith at free safety, or at strong safety. And then we got some athletes to distribute here. We do need a kicker next year. Okay, so Brian Harris is actually a higher overall than Brian Connor. So this is gonna be John, this is gonna be John Laduca here, and he's super athletic. I th I'm thinking corner here. Six foot three. Really good hands. His overall goes down, but that's going to be his best path to playing time. Although Brian Harris might be better at corner. I think that's going to be his best, best path to playing time. And then we could put Brian Harris... Probably at man, he's good too. I think he also should play corner. Let's see here. This guy's not all that fast. So I think if we put we could put them both at corner and those guys will both be our starters like next year. I think that's probably the way to go because we're our corner or our safety room is really good. And John, if you'd rather be Brian Harris, we can do that. Even though he was a four star. I'm assuming you're white, so maybe you should be maybe you should be Brian Harris. He's better anyway. If we wanna if we wanna keep the immersion. And then Curtis Simmons is a is a running back. So that was a good good signing right there. And there's the squad. I think those are the right position changes. So the, uh, the patrons are going to have to wait till the next stream to find out who you end up being. John LaDuca knows who he's going to be. It's going to be pretty random. One last look at the roster here. So Talia goes up. Six overall. Dante Demas. Ooh. Rakeem Jarrett goes up a bunch. Wide receiver room's good. We can start recruiting that group a little more this year, though. We'll get into our needs and stuff next year a little more. Pretty old offensive line, but we got some guys developing behind them. 
Defense, I think, will be better this year. I'm really excited for Ruben Hippolyte. Nick Cross is going to be killing it at free safety. He's scary. I think our team's going to be pretty good this year. Cuts coming up. I don't think we'll have too many cuts to make here. 10 cuts. Can I cut this guy? Good. You're gone. I think I'm going to let Joe Ratcliffe go. Just not, not good enough. I know he's from Connecticut, but that's not really a pipeline we want to focus on anyway. A lot of people have pointed out that Virginia is a pipeline I should probably focus on, so we'll keep those guys for now. But they are seniors. I don't know. We might have to revisit that. We'll see. I think we can probably let this guy go. We got 33 guys from Maryland right now. He's our slowest tight end. We got sophomores, the same overall. Same thing here, a Juco recruit. It's just not, not good enough for us, I don't think. Senior right guard, probably never gonna see the roster from Illinois. Pretty easy decision there. All of our Virginia guys are seniors, so we're gonna lose that pipeline next year if you can even call it that. Three more cuts. I'll let the senior go. We actually have four more cuts. I think, you know, honestly, I'm not giving up on our Virginia pipeline, but yeah, 70 speed receiver, that's a no-no. I'm not giving up on our Virginia pipeline, but for now, these guys aren't even going to help the pipeline because they're all gone after this year. And then we just got to find one more cut. This guy's probably never going to play. He does have good speed, though. So I'll keep him. He could even go to safety, maybe. Um, I'm thinking maybe this guy doesn't quite meet our standards. I don't see him ever see in the field. So, dang, Laduca. 64 gifted subs. Absolutely amazing. Now we got custom conferences, putting us in the Big Ten finally. X Phoenix, let me see if I can get you the uh, the link for the Discord server for this mod. I don't know if I'm allowed to set invites or not. Here is the uh, Discord server for the revamped mod. Okay, so we want to move us to the Big Ten. That's outdated. Alignment. It's east and west now. So we're in the east, which I guess will be the legends portion. And then we wanted to add in, who did we say it was? Louisville? 
Wow, Louisville finished with a good year, so that's fitting. And then the Big Ten. So we got we got to swap Illinois. Or no, that's right. No, Illinois is in the West. So it's Indiana, Maryland, Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State, And then Rutgers is the other one. And then while I'm here, chat, is there anything else that I should do here that I'm not thinking of? Is there a Big 12 swap? So the other team that needs to be here would be Iowa? Iowa. Like the Big 12. Okay, that's updated. They're the Big 10 now. The SEC, I think, is good. Yep. I think we're good. Welcome to the Big 10, Maryland. It was a fun last year in the ACC in our weird little alternate universe. But that's going to do it, everybody. Thank you for such a great stream. It was a really fun first season. I'm even more excited for year two. And, yeah, that's all I got. If you guys want to make sure you get caught up in the series, it's on TFG Plays. Make sure you follow at TFG Plays on Twitter to get all of my stream announcements and notifications. And uh, for all of my patrons, you guys will be loaded in as our recruits. We already know our man, John LaDuca, who he's going to be. But I got some editing of our recruits to do. If you don't make it into the first season, you'll be a part of year two. I'm just going in order of when you filled out your name kind of randomly. Any of the total scrubs, I'm just going to leave because they're probably not going to stick around for too long. So I don't want to, you know, cut you out short. But uh, yeah, great stream. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I do plan on streaming again tomorrow, probably in the evening around 7-ish or so. But again, follow at TFG Plays to find out when that's going to happen. Turn on notifications here on Twitch. And that's all I got for you. Thank you for hanging out. And we'll see you later. Peace.